Hey, Noelle the First here. So in this video, I want to do a mantelpiece makeover. So I've got this nice mirror that we got from Wayfair that I really like. But let me show you <clears throat> this uh, this mantelpiece here now, uh, or the the whole fireplace. This is a classic kind of. Um, California apartment fireplace. It's got a switch. Does not work. Uh, so it is basically a, a big room feature that serves no purpose and quite frankly is kind of dated. If this was a home, uh, I would totally paint this, probably white, maybe even put an overlay of stone or something but we can't, so we kind of have to work with what we've got. Now, I really like this mirror, but as you can see, there's a lot of space around it. So I decided to go out today to, to Home Goods and Michaels and just see if I could find something that would kind of fill up this space. In watching certain design tutorials, um, you know, I know that you, you have your anchor, which in this case is the mirror, and then you just want to have different proportions. I think part of my problem was, and I, I consider myself somebody who decorates well, and yet I've found this mantelpiece thing to just be the biggest challenge. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I put on there was just too similar in, in size, and it just looked weird. So I do have an array of objects that I'm gonna play with there um but i just feel like i need a plant or something maybe an orchid <clears throat> that would come up to about this distance so i'm gonna go to home goods gonna go to michael's check it out see what they have and i will report back kind of like these guys you know and what i noticed is because this one's a little bit shaky which doesn't seem to be a problem when you're not moving it it's on clearance for $7, but the original price is $16.99. So I don't know, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a good one. I think it's got good length to it. I'm kind of digging this fish too. I like the color of it. And I love kind of water type themes. I just don't know that if, if it would be too big. I forgot to bring a tape measure with me. I'm gonna see if they have it in here. So I kind of think this little orchid guy is cute and it's got my I like this aqua color so that's kind of pretty. I think the shape of it is real nice so I'm considering that. Found this little guy which I think is really cute. He looks more blue on camera but he's more mint green so I'm going to give him a shot. I love this little bicycle. I think it's so cute. And uh, it's got a little kickstand. I think it's $14.99. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so I had a pretty successful haul at Home Goods the other day, and I'm going to show you what I got for my mantle. I did wind up getting this little bicycle, which I absolutely adore. I just, I just love the detail on this. Like this actually feels like a little, oops, as I say that, I like just chipped off a big chunk of gold. Better be careful about that. Um, it kind of looks like an actual bike chain. Uh, that they've used. So anyway, I gotta be careful with it, but I just think it's so cute and a little wooden seat here, a little wooden handles, I just think is adorable. So I'm really liking that. We'll see how it goes on the mantelpiece. Um, I did wind up getting this wobbly tree. Um, so I think that's going to be a nice sort of uh, kind of bookend on the side to give some length. Um, and I did wind up getting this little guy who I also adore, little uh, French bulldog, meant to be a planter. So I might put something in him at some point, but for right now, I think he'll work just fine. Super cute. And then the other thing I don't think I showed that I decided to get was um, one of these glass um, pedestal candlesticks. And I just thought it had a really beautiful shape, nice color. I kind of like the color next to the little French bulldog here. 
And um, I just also felt like I needed something to give some more height. So I already have some objects, uh, so I'm gonna see if uh, these will work too. These are some um, past little pieces of artwork and paintings that I have, and I have this little llama vase as well. So I'm gonna start to arrange these. Um, I also have some hurricane lanterns. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not, but I got a bunch of stuff to work with. So I am gonna get to it. Here it is in its plain, lonely state. We'll see what we can do about that, okay. kind of liking that. I do think that my uh, my objects are working, so I'm I'm happy about that. This guy I realized is actually a little too wide. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just hanging off a little bit, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it turned around like this and instead of using it as a candlestick um, holder, using it as sort of a pedestal for either this little vase that I have with some pathos or I know I had Mr. Llama up there, which is kind of nice because then he kind of matches the height of the tree. So I don't know, we got some, uh, we got some options here. I think that's maybe a little too busy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's one option. I think I'm gonna keep um, playing around with the order and then kind of decide at the end which combination I like the best. obviously really liking this bike and I want to keep putting it in the center and kind of have it be, um, you know, the, the sort of uh, centerpiece, the highlight of this whole arrangement because I love it so much. I love these little lanterns. We got these for our wedding, but right now because this fireplace is so sort of such an orangey wood, and then my bike is kind of a dark gold and then we have the dark wood here. I kind of feel like it's having them on there with the bike is bringing too much of that kind of orange tone to it. And I feel like I need to mix it up more. I kind of like um, when things sort of subtly pick up colors. This very dark blue and the dark green. I like how it just kind of picks up the dark blue um, and the green in the cactus. So this is a print that I got from a craft fair in New Mexico. Um, I have another thing that I got from New Mexico and that was just a really lovely trip. So this is something I haven't, that I've had for a while. I haven't displayed anywhere. So I think it would be nice to put it here and I'm liking the length of it working with this. So this is the other piece that I got from New Mexico. This is um, a wood painting or it's all like chunks of wood. I think it's really pretty. I love the little bits of turquoise. I think that's kind of what sold me on it. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can make this work as well. I'm thinking because of the little turquoise pieces, it might um, go nicely next to the doggy. Maybe like so. I think I'm kind of liking that. I do have this little painting that I love as well. So I got this when I was an intern years ago. I worked for a production company. I worked for Jonathan Demme's production company in New York City. And Jonathan Demme was a big collector of Haitian art. And one day a Haitian artist was visiting the studio and he just kind of walked up to me and took this tiny little painting out of his pocket and gave it to me. And I was so touched by that and um, I've, kept it ever since through, I mean, I guess this was more than 25 years ago. And um, 
you know, it has a signature down here, although I've never been able to exactly know what that says. I've tried to look it up to see if he's somebody uh, noteworthy and I, I just never figured it out, but it's super sweet and I love it. Yes, I am really liking that. Let me get maybe a little bit closer. Yeah, I like how each thing kind of feels like it's telling a story. So I'm digging it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so there's just one last little thing. Um, I'm just gonna add to the bottom here. And then I think this fireplace mantelpiece makeover is done. So this is a chunk of wood that my husband's mother cut as the base for our wedding cake and I'm repurposing it. So I've been using it as sort of a plant stand and I'm thinking it's gonna go nicely right here. Okay, and there you have it. This fireplace mantelpiece makeover. I'm pretty pleased. I think it really filled up that space under the mirror nicely. I'd love to know what you think. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them but I think I'm gonna be sticking with this arrangement for the time being. So there you go. I will put links to things in the bottom if I find them. I'm, I mean, I know with home goods, they don't always have the same uh, products, but I'll see if I can find them anywhere. But that's that. So anyway, that's my mantelpiece makeover. I hope you like it, I do. Um, but if you want to see more videos like this, I'm definitely going to be putting up more home makeover, little kind of mini makeover type videos in the future. Please hit the subscribe button, like it, and share it with your friends. And I will see you again in the future. Thanks so much. Bye.